trying to go up seven, maybe eight. And they're doing this with DeHaan on the bench. Delaware does not turn it over just 14 times a ball game. Eight-two run for Michigan State. This ball picked up by Delaware. Tyresa Smith gets inside before the shot on the floor. She's fouled. Well, ESPN 2's first round regional coverage of women's NCAA action continues later tonight at 9 Eastern Time. You'll see either Nebraska taking on Temple, Maryland, Baltimore County taking on UConn, East Carolina against Rutgers, or James Madison in Pittsburgh. The NCAA Women's Basketball Championship presented on ESPN by Orbis. And Alyssa DeHaan back into the game. James Madison playing a little later. That will be the third Colonial team to play in the tournament. ODU went down to FSU yesterday, and we have got Delaware here. Maybe that'll be Smith going. Smith, great elevation on that jump shot. Knocks it in for a fifth point. Pick off the make, they extend in their, in their zone pressure. Again, every loose ball run down by Delaware. Smith on the run out, one on two, and it's blocked out of bounds by Grantham. The block shots are just infectious on this ball club. It starts with Dahan, and it is trickling down. The push by Smith, and you think she's got the big in the open court, but she crosses over into traffic and gets blocked. Seventh rejection of the game. Michigan State really putting a, a stamp on this game with their defensive play. Smith, again, with good elevation. Shot a little bit too strong. Michigan State trying to push ahead. Against this pressure, see if they can get an easy two. And a steal to Haven, ahead of the pack. Kashansky, offensive rebound, and she's fouled. De Haven led the Colonial in steals in 2003-2004, when she was at William & Mary. A little floater, a duck. She intercepts it and goes, will miss the layup. Offensive rebound, tremendous hustle by her backcourt mate. And the foul. Kashansky, first free throw, no good. You're talking about what a great student Dahan is. Kashansky, Cosida, academic All-American candidate. She's tremendous as well in the classroom. And she's got a talented brother. Her brother Joe Kashansky is a premier prospect in the Colorado Rockies organization. First baseman who projects to be a big leaguer soon. It's a great place to be a first baseman. I'm thinking he yeah. must be left-handed and hitting the right field in Coors is pretty good. Good play by Grantham to save the over and back. Davidson, no oh. pass, and the shot is missed by DeHaan. That would have been something. It was Blue Hen team. They just fly around this floor. We need to keep track of this. Every loose ball they get. If it's on the ground, they get it. If it's up in the air, Michigan State's going to get it. They make me want to put some knee pads on. Fisher thought about it, gets inside. And Kashansky loses the handle. I think her teammates so accustomed to her taking that shot that they just weren't really paying attention to the kick back out. Two-point lead for Michigan State. 440 remaining. Winner advances to take on the winner of East Carolina and Rutgers on Tuesday. And another steal. Smith. Oh, she's fouled and she makes the shot. What a fun player to watch. Just flat out took it away, reaches in, and just battles the ball so she can get control. Takes a pretty hard foul and gets it to go. She's Delaware's all-time leader in steals for the past two seasons. She's been the Colonial Athletic Association Defensive Player of the Year, and we figured out why. <laughs> she can play. Gets better every single year. Freshman year started with eight points per game. Now she's at 19.8. Had a chance to get the Fighting Blue Hens there. A lead, and she misses the free throw. Lisa Wolf has checked into the game, wearing number 33 for Michigan State. Shot is blocked inside, and again, loose ball run down by Delaware. DeHaan gets it back. Shot clock. 
Now they reset the shot clock. It was down to five, they reset. That was interesting. Jump shot no good, and here comes DeHaven. And DeHaven is fouled on her way to the bucket. All right, both teams getting after it. Trying to finish up the first half on a high note. We've got a timeout on the floor. Michigan State and Delaware tied at 17. The NCAA Women's Championship presented on ESPN by Orbitz is brought to you by Marshalls. We can't drop names, but we can drop their prizes. That's Marshalls Law. Welcome back everyone here to the Breslin Student Events Center on the campus of Michigan State. And a famous basketball name here in the state of Michigan, Bill Lambeer in the house. One of the bad boys from the Detroit Pistons, now coach of the Detroit Shock. Figure on the sidelines. Rick Mahorn and him coaching together. 